The Pentagon has issued a new manual on the rules of war for U.S. soldiers. Though one thing that jumps out is that journalists are now listed as potential combatants. Here's our correspondent, Marina Portnaya. The new U.S. military playbook for legally waging war is lumping terrorists and journalists under the same category. The Pentagon has officially replaced the term unlawful enemy combatant with unprivileged belligerent, and journalists can be listed under that obscure classification. The fine print is buried on page 173 of the some 1,100-page military guidebook. According to the Department of Defense, quote, in general, journalists are are civilians. However, journalists may be members of the armed forces, persons authorized to accompany the armed forces, or unprivileged belligerents. Unquote. Including journalists under a label reserved for terrorists and enemies is an unprecedented and jarring move by the Pentagon. I suppose they've found some words that are confusing enough to where the American public really can't question them. Iraqi war veteran Emily Yates worked as an Army public affairs specialist. She says the Defense Department is using semantics in an effort to censor incriminating details about America's wars. It seems like it's to, um, to give permission to treat journalists from here on out as though they are assumed to be the enemy. For its part, the Pentagon says the fact that a person is a journalist doesn't prevent that person from becoming an unprivileged belligerent. While some would characterize people who report for Al Qaeda magazines as journalists, the Pentagon would classify them as unprivileged belligerents. The reason for abandoning the phrase enemy combatant for one that sounds like the description of a spoiled teenager, the Pentagon says it's purely about style. America's new instruction manual on the right and wrong ways to fight and kill the enemy will, for the first time, apply to all four branches of the military. Previously, they had all issued their own law of war guidebooks, which presumably didn't list journalists as potential traitors. Reporting from New York, Marina Portnaya, RT. Journalism professor Christopher Chambers believes the new manual from the Pentagon gives U.S. troops the green light to uh, get rid of unwanted reporters. Geneva Convention, other uh, tenets of international law, even the United States, you know, law um, on this, the federal courts have spoken on this, doesn't have this, this thing called un, unprivileged belligerence. I mean, you're either, uh, you know, an embedded reporter, you're, you're a reporter for Stars and Stripes with the Army, so you're a member of the Armed Forces, or you're not. You're either a civilian or you're a soldier. But even if you're a soldier, you still have protections under the Geneva Convention. You can't be tortured. You can't be uh, deprived of food, et cetera, et cetera. There are two troubling things about this. First, it gives them license to, to attack or even murder mm -hmm. journalists that they don't particularly like but mm -hmm. aren't really on the other side. And it can also mean people who are just there uh, observing kind of as, as neutrals. You know, I mean, it, it would basically excuse the murder of those journalists that, you know, that made WikiLeaks famous.